Hey everyone, welcome back to a new speed build. This house is a suburban home that I built for my friend Chris. You might know him as About CM on YouTube or TikTok. I will have his socials linked below if you want to check him out. This house is a four bed, three bath home. If you want any more info like decals, credits, anything else, please check the description box as I have posted all of that information and more below. As always, if you want to hear me talk more about this build, stay tuned for after the tour. But for now, enjoy the tour and I will see you guys later. Bye!
Hey guys, welcome to the speed build part of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I had so much fun building this house. This build was like the perfect way to kind of get out of a build slump because I have been inactive and haven't uploaded a house in what feels like forever and it has been so long. So this build was like the perfect thing to kind of pull me, pull me out of that. And I think it really helped to have Chris because we had to plan around times we were available so we could both be in the server so I could use this plot and stuff to build. And I guess it just really helped me because you kind of, you can't let it slide because you have another person on the other side of the screen that, you know, you don't want to like fall behind or something. And not that like Chris would ever like say like, oh, you're falling behind, you're late. Like it was not, but you know, it's not like that. It's just, you know, you have the pressure of other people, I guess, to kind of make the build come to life faster. So this really did help me, I think, like kind of in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun. But basically how this came about is he wanted a suburban house and I always wanted to build a suburban house and I just never got around to it. And I said like, what better opportunity than right now to build a suburban house on your plot? And he said, say less. So obviously there's a lot of like research that went into this, you know, figuring out like what kind of suburban. I had to show a lot of pictures of like what kind of, what's the vibe, I guess, you know? And um and what kind of like colors and stuff so he liked the beige neutral and colored exterior with pretty much neutral colors in the interior but he loves blue so we obviously had to add a pop of blue to pretty much the whole house um and i honestly love the colors i normally do like mostly neutral builds and it was just so fun to have a little pop of color and switch things up so this will be in the description box, but I'll just mention this a little bit here too. This house does require advanced placement for sure, multiple floors, obviously, and it does require a large plot, but you could probably get by with it because I think it only, like the backyard is the only part that's over the large plot. So you could probably get by if you wanted to move the house up a little bit, or if you just wanted to not really include the backyard, you would be fine. Um, and it does use, I do use the transform tool, but again, you could get by without using it. It's just that using the transform tool just makes everything so much easier. I don't know, like you don't have to use a carpet trick anymore. Like moving the structurals is so nice and the basic shapes instead of having to like do a, like a lot of funny business and use structurals and stuff. It's just made my life so much easier. And oh my gosh, I just realized that I never, since I haven't posted in so long and done like a voiceover, I haven't talked about all the new updates that came to Bloxburg. And I'm sure you're aware um, like by now because it has been a long time. But like the last time I uploaded or did a voiceover, they haven't even added the pillows yet, which is amazing. I mean, astonishing to me, I guess that. I have uploaded in that long and we've had pillows for like three or 
three months I don't know it's been a long time so yeah I'm so like the pillows are such a, a great update they just like look so realistic but I have to say I know the transform tool got a lot of hate for being super expensive and everything and I do think it's a little overpriced especially since you can only really move basic shapes but I think because I think they'll change that eventually and you'll be able to do more just like how, just like how we were able to do that with the scale tool and I know the scale tool like doesn't require robux I think it's just the advanced placement but it does just like they did update a lot of things as they went along because you weren't able like, when the first when the scale tool first came out you weren't able to like do a lot of decorations like oh, it's only certain decorations but now like you can pretty much scale almost anything there is a few things you can't scale um but it's not that big of a deal so i do think this game pass will get better as time goes along but even if it didn't get that much better there are so many easy ways to like avoid that you can put like mugs on the basic shape and rotate it you can put decals on the basic shape and rotate it so there's a lot of like loopholes i guess to the transform tool which just makes it so much easier but yes again i do use the transform tool but you could definitely get by without it it just requires a little more patience which i don't have time and yeah so just take that into mind I just like sometimes it's getting annoying to say like all the game passes I use obviously multiple floors and advanced placement are like the main two that like you kind of have to use but some of them like yeah you don't have to use a large plot if you don't want to like you could get by without it it was not gonna look the same obviously but you could get by without it but the transform tool you could pretty much like make it look the same but you just don't have it's just not as easy to do that and because I build all the time and use a transform tool, I think it's very much like worth it. Um, and so I would recommend it. I think it's one of my favorite tools, like honestly in Bloxburg, especially recently, like ugh, I love it. And I can't wait to see what they do with it. It's just amazing. And Bloxburg got bought by another company, which I think is amazing. I know this is kind of old news if people have already like um, because this video is kind of late and but I just decided I'm going to talk about it just because why not and it is really big news for Bloxburg. I know a lot of people were saying like they're not happy like blah 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 and we still like we know a lot more information than we did originally when it came out but I still think it's a good thing like because they're basically just hiring more people to help make the game better, more updates and everything and i think it will really improve blocksburg and um i know that they kind of are probably getting acclimated like the new developer people um to the stuff now but so we haven't gotten a lot of like any update this month actually which is kind of abnormal for them they normally like you know add stuff especially with, with the new year the new year's update normally they'll add stuff that's not like just new year's but then when they took it away, they just didn't update anything else. They just took all the New Year stuff away. So I feel like that's kind of weird, but I'm sure there's a reason behind it. And we also have to give them some time to figure it all out. But in the last few months, I've loved all of the blog for updates so much. Like, I feel like, like with the transform tool, the pillows, like, I don't I'm trying to think what else they added, but I just feel like they've been getting a lot of good updates for the most part oh the christmas update was pretty good too so uh, yeah i think we've had a lot of good updates for the last few months and i think it'll be a really good thing i know yeah people were freaking out about it but we know informa more information now about it um so it definitely is a good thing and if you are still worried about it don't be worried about it it's just a game but also i think it will take Bloxburg into a better place, make it more realistic. You know, you can never go wrong with more realistic, but that can also be more stressful, like, because this is the first build I have done with the pillows and the transform tools, really. Um, and it's kind of, I seeing everyone else's builds recently, I was like, oh my God, Bloxburg got so much more realistic. Like, how am I gonna, like, how am I going to, you know, make my builds like that? But then I kind of just, just gotta learn it um and it's really not that hard i guess you just the pillows are not rocket science you just add pillows like <laughs> i don't know i guess i was overthinking it which is probably why i haven't posted in so long 
is because I have been overthinking a lot of things and all my builds, like being super like hypocritical of every, not hip, that's not the right word, or I don't know what's the right word, I can't think of it, but I don't, it's not hypocritical, I don't think, but I've just been super like down on myself, I guess, with all my builds, like, oh, I'm not good enough, but that's just the fact of life, I mean, you're not like, <laughs> it's just like, you just have those moments, I guess, all the time, and you just have to get over them. <laughs> this is me struggling with the windows. I don't know why they were not working, but I was getting really mad. Like, oh my gosh, they, the structurals weren't working. And before I, when I was filming this, I didn't realize you could transform structural tools for some reason. Like, I don't know, I just didn't try transforming structural tools. And I feel kind of stupid because like everyone else knew that, but me, I guess. So that's interesting but i could have just like moved the tool or moved the thing and it's you know that would be so much easier but here is just me struggling like with the window like so much so i guess i'm gonna talk a little bit more about my absence so part of it was just not being really creative um not the juices were just not flowing let's just say but also by the time i got, I got done with school and I had like a month break or three weeks off. And my plan was to get as much building done as I possibly could in that time frame. Because like, what was the excuse, you know? Like you're, I'm at home. And it's like one thing if it's like Christmas week or whatever, you know, or like the, like that, like the holidays are like pretty much within a week. So it's like one thing if I was busy during that one week because of family and friends, but no, that was just not the case. Because all of my friends started coming home from college and I obviously had to hang out with them while I could and take the, take the you know, most use of my time with them. So and that's what I did and with family because obviously it was the holidays. So I was spent a lot of time with them for the last like month, I guess, in December. And that just like, obviously like it kind of, I wanted to work more on my builds and stuff, but I'm so glad that it able to spend that time with them because you know obviously friends are so important and it was just so nice like you know to catch up with people that I haven't really seen in person for a while now and yeah it was just so well well worth it but yeah so I finally finished my first semester of college which at the end also got very stressful because we had all these projects and you know, it just got very time consuming and me being perfectionist, I had to make sure like all my final projects were perfect and we were doing like a lot of presentations. So obviously you have the pressure of like talking to people and which is fine. I actually love presenting, which like, I don't know. I used to hate it. Like, I don't know. Like, I guess like in high school, it's a different story because you're presenting like science topics or something like, oh, here is like, here's a volcano, like my presentation on a volcano or something. And then, you know, it's not really entertaining because you don't really care about the volcano, you know, but you kind of have to do it for a grade. So yeah, but because I'm doing interior design in college and it's my passion, I love presenting because I love sharing my ideas and being creative. And I just, I never realized that it's really does matter about what you talk about, like, presenting wise because I always thought like I was like super shy and I didn't want to present and I you know no one really likes presenting but I actually do like it now like it's fun talking with classmates and seeing other people's ideas and I just love that like so much so yeah school was kind of hard just you know because of that but like I just like every time I would come home from school it's just like, I don't want to do anything but just sleep. And when you don't have a build in progress, it just makes it so much harder because I'm literally not motivated, like, at all. To, like, if I have an exterior done or something, it motivates, you know, I can I can do the interior. It's, like, really helpful. But because I didn't have anything to go off of, you know, it was really hard for me. Um, so, yeah, that was like not the greatest. But with this build, because it was on another plot, which is so like helpful, instead of just like working on one project at a time, because that kind of makes it hard, like I realized because I'll work, I'll put all my heart into one project, like completely like 
like indulge myself into the project and when it's done i'm like what do i do with myself like what's my next project like what am i gonna do like what kind of house like all that kind of stuff so while i was like one weekend or something when chris was busy i started building another project which i'm not gonna say what it is yet but i already have like the exterior kind of done like i mean it's, i didn't record it yet but i have it like the layout kind of that i want and like what direction i want and i'm confident in it so basically once this video is done uploading i'm probably gonna go work on that house and i'm trying to like do that so i think i learned the trick is to start a project you know get kind of into it and then um in the middle of that project like take a pause for a few days and then switch projects so then you have to start it just oh my gosh like i I can just feel the motivation like i i just want to go back and work on my new project which it never really happens because normally by the time i'm done with this like whatever house i'm working on i'll be burnt out and i just don't want to do it or it's really hard to find house inspo and stuff which definitely happened to me during the victorian house like era i guess because that took me like two or three weeks just to figure out what i wanted to do for the house like plan it like i, I always do um, a rough draft. I like to call them rough drafts of like what my, what the house is gonna look like. And I'll get like a layout done. I'll get like most of the exterior done. I don't really do the interior, obviously, but I'll just like kind of get a layout of what I want it to look like. And then I'll delete it and then I'll redo it on I, and then record it, obviously. And I just realized that just makes my speed builds a little smoother because especially at the exterior because it is kind of like a crucial part of the whole build that if it's easier for me like i don't I'm not like redoing it deleting stuff redoing it deleting stuff like it just helps the viewer and me because i know what to do and it's not stressful so it's just so helpful to do that although it does take a little more time but that's why it's, i call it a rough draft because you don't put a ton of detail into it you kind of just add a few walls Maybe if you want to add a little more details to really get a good picture. And then I'm like, yep, that looks amazing. And yeah, so that is my life hack, I guess, I figured out about myself. So hopefully that speeds up things like in the future now that I know that. Hopefully that kind of makes my builds come out faster instead of, you know, how they were. And honestly, I had, once my friends all left, or again for college at the end of the winter break. I had another week to be by myself and I worked on, this is when I started working on this house, which was really helpful um, to kind of like get out of break, but then, you know, have this house. So it really helped motivate me instead of just like getting into the routine of, you know, going to school, like sleeping or, you know, not doing anything really. Like this really just, you know, helped me figure that out and get into a routine. So I feel like I've established a lot of a more routine when it comes to this. So yeah, that's just like, I guess a little hype into my next projects and a little bit of my life where I've been and my absence over the last three or two months. I'm not really sure how long it's been. Honestly, it's kind of sad. Also something different I did, which he you can see that I'm doing right now is I just instead of like coloring everything which to me can be kind of stressful because like it's like what colors you want to do like blah blah like it's, and it takes a lot more time like I think while you're building because you kind of have to worry about like what colors what looks good like changing it a thousand times and then like I don't know like you just, I just like change my mind a lot so I decided that I wasn't going to do like any really color to this exterior yet. And it was first of all, it speeds up your build because all you have to do is like click the paint button and you can like copy and paste like it, which saves time. But then also if you change things, you don't have to like exit out of tools, which doesn't take that long, but like it does so, like, I don't know, you know, so it definitely like does help. I think to not paint things and just get a good picture, you know, of what you're doing. And then also I thought it was fun because you can do like before and after TikToks, which I'm going to post. I don't know if it's going to be up like this week or like by the time. Well, it definitely will be uploaded after this video is posted. So I guess stay tuned for that. But I wanted to film like a before and after like the color because it's crazy how much color and texture can change your builds. Um, yeah. 
and like learning about color theory we've been learning about color theory and stuff in school and that is so fascinating like i think i mentioned this before but i used to be like a kind of like a diehard minimalist like not like the super super like sad beige people i think that's what they like to call people nowadays that are like kind of just neutrals and stuff but i definitely had was very minimalist like i literally in my room only had a bed um i had i didn't even have a desk for a while i had a bed i had a plant like a big floor plant uh i had a nightstand and I did have a little bench. That was my desk, I guess. I had this little bench I sat on the floor with. And that was... Wait, I'm trying to think of anything else in my room. But I'm pretty sure that was literally all I had in my bedroom. Like, that was it. And I just had, like, very minimal things. Like, I... Obviously, like, if you have that little space, you'd have a little bit... Like, nothing, pretty much. So, I was a diehard minimalist. But learning more about color now and the article that shocked me to my core about i think it, i think it maybe i maybe i mentioned this earlier but it was an article that it was like we've lost like 50 percent or something ridiculous amount of color in the past like few decade decades yeah and um it just blew my mind because you don't really realize it but when you look back at like those old pictures in like the 80s and 70s there's so much more color than there is now. You have more colorful cars, you had more colorful wallpapers and paints, and now a lot of the like trends is like white and gray, which I like kind of still like a little bit, but it's definitely so fun to have color. So I've been loving color lately. And the article really like changed me. I was like, wow, that really is crazy to like think about how much our life has our world has changed. You know, because color is not really popular as much as it is anymore. Um, and so color has been really fascinating to me. Like, we've been learning all the different, like, color theory, I guess. Which, to be honest, I'm not going to bring up right now because I kind of forgot. Like, I probably want to do more research into the color theory again to, like, so I don't say, like, the wrong thing, you know? <laughs> like, I don't want to be, like, wrong. And, um, but it's been so interesting to learn about color. Oh, okay, I remember this one thing that we learned. Um... Basically, they went to somewhere in Africa, I think, and they don't use the color blue. Like, that blue just doesn't really exist. They have, uh, like, I don't know how to describe this. They have blue, but they don't, like, blue is not blue. They don't say blue. It's like, they have green, they have orange, they have yellow, they have red, or like, they have all those colors, but they don't have a word for blue. And they so they showed all these people a whole wheel of colors and they're all like greens but there's like greens and blues and they couldn't pick out the difference between green and blue they, they looked the exact same to them i was like obviously like that's blue that's you know like that's blue like and that's all the other ones are green so like obviously that makes sense but i found it interesting how like if you don't have a word for color like it doesn't really exist in a way like it's it's kind of weird and it's kind of like the whole what is the word um like the whole analogy or thing where it's like, oh, if a tree falls in a forest and no one's there to hear it, does it make a sound? And it's like, no. Like, color's kind of the same way. It's like, if you look, if you imagine an apple in your head, or like, if you look over to your side and you have an apple on your desk, but then you look away, does the color still exist? Is it is the color still there? Or is it only there when you look at it because that's how your eyes react to light? I don't know it's so fascinating to me like I don't know it's just so weird like how different names and stuff like they don't exist and back in the day um when they like you know how like, we have like redhead people um oh, they didn't have the color orange like they didn't have a name for the color orange it was just like red so like when you think about redhead their hair is more like orange but because they didn't have a word for orange they called them redheads so that's just i think kind of funny because like we and we just go with it because they if you look at like okay yeah there is some like r people that have like darker red hair but most of the time like redheads are more like an orangey hair so it's kind of funny to think about and i find that so fascinating like that is so interesting to me like <laughs> um i don't know if you guys wanted to like hear that but i think that's so interesting okay i just did a little more research into this to figure out like what kind of what study it was 
and it i don't think there's a name but apparently it's by a researcher named jules davidoff um and they traveled to nambia i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong and it's the himbia tribe and they just don't have a word for blue so there's no color difference for that for them so they couldn't pick it out but yeah you can see the the picture that they sent that they showed them and they just couldn't pick out that which i was like obviously like that color is like there's blue blah blah, blah but they don't have the color for colorful blue so to them it all looks the same and that just like blew my mind that just like how there's not really a right way to see color or a wrong way to see color it's just like everybody has a different view of color so like we all see the rainbow differently which is just like so weird and interesting okay i'm going to talk a little bit more about the build and just like my new process of how i'm going to start doing videos now so um normally i would cut the videos off at like an hour or an hour and a half ish and like it doesn't really give a lot of time for like you know speed builds or like for you to get a lot of stuff done so I'm trying to limit it to two or three videos per, per house so like for this video it's a little bit longer but I'm okay with that obviously because like that's just what's gonna if you want to have less parts you're gonna have longer videos so it's gonna take longer to upload but that is okay with me I guess I am filming this kind of earlier than usual like normally I film it the day like the day before I'm gonna post it and then it's like a struggle of and a rush of trying to get everything together and stuff but i'm filming it two days early well i guess a day no two days early i guess earlier than i normally am so i'm a little ahead of schedule so i'm pretty proud of myself to be honest but i guess that was the goal so i'm going to start doing that and i'm wanting to make a lot more changes to my channel because i don't know i feel bad i feel like a lot of my videos are edited not like they're good but they're not great you know um so i'm trying to figure out a way or like a method to make my videos better edited like streamline them a lot give more i don't know like i want to give better layouts make it easier for people to follow the speed build and this this build is a lot easier to follow, I think, than a lot of my other ones. Still, it's a challenging build, but it's still not as hard as it could be. But I do want to make more changes. I don't want to, like, rebrand my channel, which I've been saying for, like, almost, like, half a year at this point. I just never had the time to do it. And then when I was going to, I got, like, carried away with this build. And I just never had the time to really do it. But after this build, I think I'm going to enter a new era if you will and just really try to put more effort into my builds overall and all of that i'm sorry if you can hear my cat meowing i got a cat recently and she is the cutest thing ever she oh my gosh she's climbing on my lap oh my gosh she's gonna like disturb the audio i'm sorry if you hear anything but i my classmate one of my classmates I found a cat in her basement and was like we're gonna give like i can't take another cat like do you want this cat and i was like I, like, I, like, sure, like, I was, like, I always wanted a cat, I've never had a cat before, but she is the cutest thing ever, her name is Jovi, I'll probably post her on, like, my Instagram or TikTok or something one of these days, but she is, like, so cute, but she is a kitten, and she's, like, she's, like, four months old now, but when I got her, she was, like, eight weeks old, and she's, it's been, like, a, like, a, a journey, to say the least. She's she just, like, she likes to bite hands still. She likes to scratch. She'll climb up your leg. That was, like, besides the whole point. But she's, like, jumping at me right now. And I'm trying, like, I have dogs, but it's kind of different to train cats. And she's not really food motivated, like, at least yet. Like, I don't know. She's, she's kind of, like, whatever. She don't care. But I don't, so if you have any uh, cat advice for me... Um, let me know in the comments because I would love to hear like some more advice because she can be like the little devil sometimes like oh my gosh she's just like nibbling my fingers and I can't allow it but sometimes it's just too cute like so cute I just like yeah so that I don't even know where I was going with that but I was thinking about my like my rebrand but yeah I wanted to be a little more focused 
more better builds that are just easier for everybody like to copy and stuff and I want to like change up the way I do thumbnails and just make it so nice um so I think I'm gonna end the voice over here because I want to finish editing this video I want to get it up there because now that they are longer I have to acquaint make more time for the build to upload and stuff because the last time I did that with the Victorian speed build I mean it was four hours this is only like three hours I think but it took 36 hours um maybe even more I don't know to upload it just from YouTube not even like off my computer or off my editing software so I am going to go so I can quickly finish this up and I will see you guys in the next part of this build bye guys
Thank you.